This morning's tutorial is how to find a vanishing point and a horizon line from a photograph of a tiny house. I'm going to apologize about the glare. There's a little bit of glare from the lamp. Um, I've chosen two pictures here. Some of us have one point perspective drawing, some of us um, one point perspective photos, some of us have two point perspective photos. This one is in one point perspective and this one's in two point perspective. Two point. Okay. What you want to do first is trace, identify and trace right on your paper with ruler and pencil your converging lines. How the heck do you do that? This is how. First of all, if you have one of each, what I would do is just fold because if you are, if you have multiple pictures on the same page, then you're going to have um, a problem with overlapping lines with pictures. Next thing you want to do is I always tell my students to hold their page, their picture, level with the corner of their desk. It could be any corner, but just make sure that you're holding your A4 paper. <laughs> a lot of moving around, I'm sorry. <laughs> your A4 paper and your print off level with the edges of your desk. So, um, there we go. All right. So see how I have this edge of the paper and this ed edge of the paper lined up with my desk. The next thing that you want to do once those lines are lined up is you want to identify your converging lines. This is two point. This house is two point perspective. I know it because the bottom angles of the house make a V and the top angles of the house make like a tent or an upside down V. I'm just going to take my ruler and trace the line. Top and bottom. And see where they meet. I can also use um, anything like a porch two-point perspective means there's a perspective there's a point or a vanishing point on one side of the house and the other side of the house ta-da here is a vanishing point my vanishing point on this side of the house goes right off the page. I can't even see it. That means when I do my final drawing for this project, I need to either draw my house way over to the right side of my paper so I have room for that point on the left, or, in pencil only of course, you can draw right on the desk. If that's the case, I would also suggest that you take a good piece of tape, like 3M tape, and tape your um, paper to the desk so it doesn't move around. And at this point, once you found the vanishing point, you can, you'll know that anything to the right side of your corner of your house goes to the right vanishing point. Anything from the left side of the corner that points towards you in your house goes to the left vanishing point. So, on our practice, we won't be do creating this amount of detail today, but on your final, that means that you will be drawing, if there's clapboards on your building, you'll be drawing them all going 
to the vanishing point on this side on your final drawing and the top and the inside of the porch will all go to this vanishing point. Okay. If you have a photo that's one point perspective, that means that the front of the house is all square with the top and side of your page. So basically, you want to grab this type of ruler that has a right angle because you can hold it right up to the edge of your paper, create that front face of the house, I'm not going to be concerned about proportions of your um, home. It also doesn't e have to be exactly like your photo, but every line of the one-point perspective or two-point perspective needs to be correct. So how do I find my vanishing point here? Again, I find the converging lines. So I line up my ruler with the bottom edge of the home and the top edge of the home. Here's my vanishing point. Here's the bottom line in the window. It connects to the vanishing point. Also, make sure when you're drawing your lines, they actually connect to the vanishing point. Mine just didn't. Here we go. And the top. So here's the top line of my window, the bottom line of the window. And as I move forward with my drawing on my final, I know that all my vertical lines run parallel with the right and left side of my page. Just like on our practices exactly the same way. How do I do a roof? On one point perspective, the roof or A-frame, the point of the A-frame is going to be right in the middle of the home. I'm going to create a line for the A-frame. I'll do it on here. Here's the middle point. I'm going to use my ruler. And then this point and this point connect straight in the center, like this. If you have a two-point perspective and one side of your drawing is really, really long, um, you could always tape two pieces of A4 paper together. So the way this translates is as follows. When I'm drawing my house, I look at this picture. I'm going to measure the whole width of the house in the front. It's one and one quarter inches, and this is about an inch. So it's an estimate of length, and then I want to identify my horizon line. The horizon line is the line that the 
vanishing point rests on. When you're creating your horizon line, make sure that your horizon line is, the par is parallel with the top and the bottom of your page. And that tells you also how to find your vanishing point. <coughs> so here, a little lower than half, way down, is your horizon line. Here's the edge. This line is this line. The distance is right about here. And that represents the slope of the side of my home, one point perspective. Just like that. I'm going to end that side of the house just about here. And then it starts to get confusing, so you can erase at this point the lines that aren't in your home. I'm going to still keep the center of the A-frame because it tells me where my stained glass window goes. And that's about it. So that's how to do it. <coughs> if trying to think if there's any. Well, let's stop there for today. So it'll be good for today. So what we're going to do is we are going to find our vanishing point, find our horizon line, and draw just our basic house on our A4 paper. Okay. And tomorrow we'll talk about the more creative aspect of the project.